Elasticsearch aggregations are a way of grouping documents together to retrieve analytical information from them. The aggregations are divided into different categories, so let's talk about those. Although there are four categories, we'll only talk about three of them now. First up, we have bucket aggregations, which create so-called buckets of documents. Buckets are sets of documents matching a given criterion. The criterion for each bucket therefore determines whether or not a given document falls into it. For instance, we could use an aggregation named terms, which takes the unique values for a field and creates a bucket for each of them. If we were to use this aggregation on the product.category field for the orders dataset, we would end up with the following buckets, one for each category. Each bucket would then contain the orders for products with that category. In other words, the documents that satisfy the criterion. Along with the actual documents, each bucket also includes the number of documents that match the criterion. These bucket aggregations can actually be nested. For instance, we can nest another terms aggregation to create a bucket for different product brands. These buckets then contain the documents that satisfy two criteria, the criterion for the bucket itself plus the parent bucket's criterion. Nested aggregations therefore operate on the documents created by the apparent aggregation, otherwise known as the aggregation context. With bucket aggregations, we cannot actually access the matching documents themselves, but only the document counts. We typically do want to do something with the buckets though, such as gathering statistics from the matching documents. That's where metric aggregations come into the picture. Metric aggregations compute metrics over a set of documents, being the documents within a bucket. The metrics are based on values extracted from the documents. Let's take the sum aggregation as an example. By applying this aggregation to the total field, we can see the sum of order totals for each bucket. Notice how the metric aggregation can be applied to buckets anywhere in hierarchy, including at the top level. A couple of other metric aggregations worth mentioning are AVG, min, max, cardinality, etc. The third category of aggregations, being pipeline aggregations, is a bit more advanced, so I won't go into too much detail. Pipeline aggregations don't operate on document sets as bucket and metric aggregations do. Instead, they operate on the outputs produced by other aggregations. An example could be to calculate how many percent of the order totals comes from screwdrivers. Doing so, we would use the output of two other aggregations, being the sum of order totals and the sum of order totals for screwdriver orders. There was a quick introduction to Elasticsearch aggregations, 